we know what is sampling and we know the sampling theorem for band limited signals now in this lecture i will give you the sampling theorem for band pass signals and first we will understand what do we mean by band pass signal band pass signal is a signal having band of frequencies ranging from some non zero value to another non zero value this is very important to understand that in band pass signal the band of frequencies range from some non zero value to another non zero value like you can see here we are having the spectrum of the message signal represented by mf and the band of frequency we are having here is ranging from some non zero value to another non zero value f is equal to zero here so this is the frequency which is zero and you can see that this frequency is not included in the band of frequencies we are having and this frequency here is represented by f subscript h and this frequency is known as upper cutoff frequency this frequency here is represented by fl and this frequency is known as lower cutoff frequency therefore this frequency here is equal to minus fl and this frequency here is equal to minus fh and fh fh minus fl upper cutoff frequency minus the lower cutoff frequency is equal to the bandwidth bandwidth is represented by b so bandwidth is this band of frequencies it is equal to fh minus fl for example let's say fh is equal to 12 kilo hertz and fl is equal to 8 kilo hertz so 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 kilo hertz so bandwidth is equal to 4 kilohertz in this particular case now we will move on to the sampling theorem for band pass signals according to the sampling theorem a band pass signal mt which is our message signal can be recovered from its sampled signal can be recovered from its sampled signal if fs which is the sampling frequency is equal to 2 times fh fh is the upper cutoff frequency divided by k and k is equal to upper cutoff frequency fh divided by the bandwidth b and fs in this case when it is equal to twice of fh divided by k is known as the minimum sampling frequency to recover the signal back from the sampled signal if fs is greater than 2 fh divided by k then also we can have the signal back but fs equal to twice of fh divided by k is the minimum sampling frequency if fs is less than twice of fh divided by k then we cannot have the band pass signal empty from the sampled signal this point is clear i guess now we will move on to the next point in which we will substitute k equal to fh divided by b here fs is equal to twice of fh divided by k in place of k we will write this fh divided by b fh fh will cancel out so finally we are getting fs equal to twice of bandwidth b so remember this and you can solve the questions directly using this result i have not shown the derivation of this result because it is not important in this course now we will implement this using one example in this example there is a band pass message signal here it should be signal so we have band pass message signal extending from 4 to 6 kilohertz this means 6 is the upper cutoff frequency fh and 4 is the lower cutoff frequency fl so we have two parameters fh equal to 6 kilohertz and fl which is equal to 4 kilohertz so fl is equal to 4 kilohertz and from here we can find out the bandwidth you can see that bandwidth is equal to fh minus fl so we will subtract 
4 from 6 and this will give us 2 kilohertz. So bandwidth is equal to 2 kilohertz and in the example it is asking us to find out the smallest sampling frequency which is required to retain this signal completely and we know the smallest sampling frequency fs is equal to twice of bandwidth. So from here we will get fs equal to 2 times bandwidth which is equal to 2 kilohertz. So finally we are getting fs equal to 4 kilohertz. This is the answer of this example problem. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here. See you in the next one.